everything everybody's been talking about. December 20th and 21st at Tipton Rose Mark. It is going to be crazy. The number 14 team in the country, number one in Tennessee, Whitehaven, going up against the South Alabama commit. The 6-7-4 looks to give the Haven their first loss of the season. Even they travel around the country. But Arlington comes in fully loaded like a baked potato. They have their hands full with Jonesboro, one of the top teams in Arkansas. What's going to happen on Friday? That's tomorrow, 6 p.m. at Tipton Rosemark. But not other than the rest of the squad, the general bringing in the humble and humble Mitchell Tigers to take on South Haven Chargers and even Bolivar is going to play against Potts Camp that plays in Mississippi. Fayette Ware is going to take on Moz and it is still going to be loaded the 21st and 20th at Tipton Rosemar. Wake up and wipe the crust out of your eyes. Holly Spring Hawks are in the building. Potts Camp has packed out their basketball arena and very well so. They got one of the top teams in Mississippi in the building. So what do you think they came to do? They came to ball. So, hey, let's look into it, though, but look at this guy. Oh, get nasty. He goes down smack down. Talk that We gonna take the house. We gonna take the plane off this house. We got you. We got you. 15 points, give or take. Rain or shine. News alert! You gonna lose. He came to tell you Holly Springs is not bagging down. He calls a 15-point dog on the other squad. That's Potts Camp, and the fans are in the building. They're not gonna let that happen. But Holly Springs, cheerleading squad, the fans are in the building. Who's gonna start it off, though? None other than Corey Bell. Take flight! It's the ultimate dunk of the night. No need for us to wait. No need for us to shout. It gets crazy here early. Corey Bell, take flight on these young fellas. Let them know a hawk is in the building. On the other side, Potts Kemp has almost lost the ball. Ends up going up, getting called for a jump ball. It's going the other way back to Holly Springs. They are starting early because they got Derek Fountain. He goes coast to coast, doesn't look to make the basket, but then Holly Springs gets a traveling call as well. Bell almost loses the ball. He saves it, and nobody steps up. So what does he do? Knock it down in your eye. You don't think I can shoot this thing? Let me show you from deep. On the other side, not letting anything slide, though, is Walter Hamilton. He knocks down the three in the first bucket for Potts Camp. On the other end, Fountain, one of the big-time players in the state of Mississippi, has a shrug by the Potts Camp coach looking and said, all right, you can step out and show me you got range. Let's see if you can do it again. They got another guy that can do the same thing. Reeves is hot as fish grease the entire night. It's going to be called for a timeout for Potts Camp. And I tell you one thing, Reeves for Holly Springs is one elite player. But that's not it, though. Derek Found goes to up and under finish off the glass. They get back on a full press, and then Reeves comes up with the steal. Looks to slam it, but ends up missing. But that just shows you the intensity they had. They even saved the ball off of that miss, threw it back down low to the big, and Anthony got the dump to go right there for an easy layup. And then look at the fan. He got the hawk wings out. He let you to know that they came to ball. No need for you to think something else is going to change their intensity. They came ready to play here, and this is still the first quarter. Look at the big there. Anthony coming up with it, throwing it off to Reeves. Reeves going to finish off the glass with the left. Great finish for the guard. And then look down low for Potts Camp. They go up and under off the glass for a finish. That's Mitchell Salisbury for a bucket for Potts Camp. And then the pump fake, one dribble pull up, Corey Bell. I love this player. Bell has been ringing just that all lately because he is in the rankings as one of the top players in Mississippi. And I tell you, the rankings are very legit because Derek Felton and Corey Bell are two of the dynamic duos that they have, and they went to work all night long. But one player they didn't talk too much about was Reeves for Holly Springs. And I tell you one thing, the dude is lethal. You're going to see here late in the game. There's Day-Day Faulkner, though, knocking down a jumper for Potts Camp. And then looking over to the top, Reeves is going to find the guard down low. Nice to a finish. Missed that one. Rebound put back by the big there, and he gets another easy bucket this time inside the paint for Fountain. 
Potts Kemp gonna get double team over in the corner, looks down low to the big Salisbury. Gets an easy one off the glass. Bell gonna step over in the corner threes. Please wind it all up. Do the willy dance and let them know what time it is. There's a steal, a float up from Reeves. Gives it to Bell. Bell brings the ball down and gets an easy bucket. There's a steal once again for Holly Springs. They're off to the races. Kick it off to the cutter. Go up and under, miss that one. But, you know, when you got somebody like Fountain, who's down low in the paint and who can save the day every single time, there is no problem or no need for you to think that you have a problem. Day Day knocking one down from outside. Faulkner showing the reins on that one. He was able to knock down a lot of those. Look at that step back jumper from Dame Reeves. I mean, that wasn't enough. He looks down low to the big, gets an assist down low in the paint, puts the tongue out and lets you know what time it is. We came ready, and we came ready to ball. And I tell you one thing, y'all are going to have to do something completely different if y'all want to slow down this Holly Springs team. I'm not sure if this is the best they've looked, the worst they look, but I tell you one thing, this is one of the most lethal teams I have seen, period. I told you, January 10th in Memphis, Tennessee, Holly Springs will be down here taking on Lausanne, and as you know, they have a top 10 ESPN player in the country, but they also have some fully loaded Arsenal guys. They got Jonathan DeJanae down low. They have my guy Bo Montgomery out on the wing. I mean, they are loaded, Lausanne is, and they're going to be in Memphis. Holly Springs is going to bring this squad to Memphis, and you might want to show up and show out for that one. Nice kickoff to a short corner jumper for Reeves once again. I mean, they did everything possible. They showed that they had range. They showed that they had the short corner, that they had the attack, the penetrating kick, the open down low, the paint, the extra pass. I mean, they literally played every style of ball, and they did it well. Look at this. Just an easy bucket. Let's end the half off. It is just ridiculous. 52-27. to 27. Potts Kemp needs to come out with some of that stuff that Daffy Duck gave out at halftime. Let's start the second half. Third quarter. Oh, my goodness. Derek Fountain puts him on skates. I'm not sure if he was at the Skate Odyssey in South Haven, Mississippi, when the twerk fest was going on. But, oh, my goodness, he's got him dancing and grabbing the floor. It ain't no girls out there. Get out here, get up, and get out on defense. And uh, you did a little bit too much on that one because I'm going to put you on ice. Oh, my baby. That's why you got to bring the rewind for that one. But Holly Springs just getting started. That just goes to show you the intensity that they started off in the second half was just about the same that they had in the first half. Look at this slam, though. I'm loving that. Going baseline, taking flight. Tay Frost grabbing onto the rim, letting the fans know, oh, yeah, we still here, baby. But uh, Holly Springs ain't going nowhere. That's just to say the least. Dylan King with the bucket there for Holly Springs on the other end. Salisbury gets another easy layup. And then Fountain pulls up using the mask right in front of the face of the defense. Next play down, Fountain's going to kick it over. Wide open is Reeves, and yeah, he just got started. And you thought he was going to stop there? No, sorry. Same side, same result. Reeves knocking down another three. He's starting to skip to my loop. Time out. He is hot as fish grease. I told you this guy here is none other than the bad man in between the black lines. 68 to 31, big time lead, and Reeves said, no, do you really think we're going to pull up after this? No, don't take us out, coach. We want to finish off the deal. They've been talking smack all week long. I'm going to finish on him and look dead in his face as Reeves just did, and we are going to finish this off tough. We're going to extend the lead and keep it going, and Holly Springs done just that. I mean, look at this. It got really fishy here, though. The fans almost jumped over the bar. If, that, if the bars weren't there, they literally would have been on top of that player. Found gets the pull-up jumper from outside. The big can show the range, too. Oh, my goodness. And then on the defensive side, he gets the block. If you're a college coach and you're watching this video, you might want to take down a couple names I've mentioned today. I'm sorry. I usually, I, I'm usually not this crazy. I'm usually not this loud. I'm, I usually don't have this much in my commentary. But I tell you, these Holly Spring players are the real deal. 
You don't have to make it all the way out to Mississippi. Bring yourself to Memphis and come watch them play January 10th and 11th in the Ultimate South Showcase at Lausanne. I mean, they even set them down early. It started to get ugly, 83 to 48. People were saying Pot Kemp was going to beat up this team. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Holly Springs showed up and said, no, nah, no one has a chance within a 100-mile radius because this way that they just did, I mean, beating up on a team like this with masks on, the fans in the building saying, you scared, you shaky, everything. I mean, you got guys dancing in jerseys. You got people on the other side leaving. It was just an ugly scene out in Mississippi. I never thought I could make my way out to Mississippi and someone could literally walk into the house of one of their home opponents and just take over the area. I mean, they literally were just lock loaded and ready, not talking Smith and Wesson. And they didn't stop there. Bring in some of the bench players and let's extend this lead. They got a couple buckets to go and then heads to the free throw line. 98 to 58. Yeah, it's a 40 point lead right now, but uh, they're trying to make it to 100. The time was running out because, as you know, uh, basically the time winds out if you're over a certain amount of points. And then they got to 100, and the fan section went crazy again. Take this one to an end. 100 to 58. Almost a 50-piece pot and ready. Somebody get on to the house.